Okay, take two on this. I'm Jeff Alpin, the big game hunter, and I coach people and organizations to play big in their lives and big in the world. And for a lot of folks, they're used to playing small. They've gotten into habits, habits that they haven't really thought about in the longest time. And frankly, I'm going to use slang here, they've grown fat, dumb, and happy, lazy, methodical, unthinking. People get so caught up in their day-to-day that they forget to actually think about, what can I do differently? Is it any wonder why we wind up in a rut? And I use rut in a way that has a connotation, has a way of just letting people down, letting yourself down. Then one day you wake up and you ask yourself, is that all there is? Isn't there any more to my life than just getting up, going to work, work I don't particularly enjoy anymore? I do it because it pays me well. Come home, and like Cosmo Kramer, hi, how was your day, dear? Fine. How was your day, dear? And you go on and on and grow frustrated with life, especially as you sit in front of a TV or watch Netflix or what have you becomes a pretty dull existence. You know, you could change the work stuff that occupies a lot of your day. You could change by looking at things that are close to what you're doing, but a little bit different. Close, but not the same. So, for example, when when I look at myself in my own career, I've started off professionally as an executive recruiter. Done that for a long time. Start to get involved with becoming a therapist. Why? Help people. Do it differently than I would in search. Decided not to practice. You know, got married, had a child, that sort of thing. Practiced for a little while, but not full time. And now I've gone into coaching, which is close, different, um, functionally different. Helps people in a different way than my other career would be. It takes advantage of, of my master's in social work. It takes advantage of experiences I had in the Mankind Project, where I helped to lead weekends, uh, where my experience in working with groups and working with individuals, plus my knowledge of career coaching, can be transitioned in different ways that I really enjoy. As we approach this next recession, and I want to be clear, I'm not being making a political statement here. I'm just simply saying, you know there's going to be another recession at some point, right? It doesn't matter who's elected president, we're going to have one. You can use that proximate skill, that near skill, to kind of transition yourself into something else if you start thinking about it now. So I want to just take a minute and encourage you. There are things that you're doing now that have value that are part of your job description. So if you do general accounting, you can do tax. You'll learn tax pretty easily if that interests you. The idea is to do something that has some meaning for you. Because what's the point of doing stuff that's going to turn into dull drudgery, right? Why would you want to do that anyway? Look at the things that you have some juice for for which the world actually pays some money. You know, for example, uh, I don't want you to go out and hand out leaflets on a street corner in New York City unless that's something you have a lot of joy in doing and you feel like you can make money at it. Because I don't want you to become destitute. But I do want you to think in terms of what would you enjoy that the world will pay for that's similar but different to what you're doing now. Hope you like this. Uh, If you did, leave a message, send me a message, come over to my, um, you you can watch this on YouTube, follow me on YouTube as well, follow No BS Coaching Advice on Facebook, I'm going to be coming out with more videos regularly. I hope you have a great day, and again, tell me if you like this or you have any questions. Take care.